Well, a major bust on the dark web. The largest and longest running illegal marketplace in all the world is shut down. Officials in Germany made that announcement today. The operation part of a months long effort with the U.S. Justice Department. The illegal marketplace called Hydra Market. Officials say it's a Russian language site on the dark web. They say it sold illicit drugs, counterfeit currency, stolen information and hacking services. Officials say they also seized 25 million bucks worth of Bitcoin from Hydra's servers. In a statement today, the Attorney General Merrick Garland wrote in part, the Justice Department will continue to work alongside our international and interagency partners to disrupt and dismantle darknet markets and to hold those who commit their crimes on the dark web accountable for their acts. CBC senior Washington correspondent Eamon Javers with some details now. Man, this is a big bust. You know, it's absolutely huge, Shep. Hydra was launched back in 2015, and it served as a meeting place for criminals and their customers. The site's illicit revenue had been skyrocketing. It generated about $10 million in revenue back in 2016, but more than $1.3 billion in 2020. Now, on the site, sellers could post pictures of drugs, and it even featured a five-star rating system and product reviews from buyers. To get drugs to customers, sellers would plant the goods in secret locations, sometimes burying them, and then give the hiding spot details to the buyers once they paid up on the site. But when you try to go to that site now, you'll see this, a post by German authorities saying, the platform and the criminal content have been seized by the Federal Criminal Police Office. Also today, the Department of Justice announced money laundering and narcotics charges against a 30-year-old Russian resident, Dmitry Pavlov, describing him as the administrator of Hydra's servers. Now, all of this comes at a time that many see as a turning point in the battle against Internet crime. The criminals are nervous. I mean, the leaks that we're seeing, anonymous activity, partnerships between the U.S. and Germany are pretty unprecedented. The partnerships we're seeing around the world with the NATO nations are unprecedented. So we're watching a lot of ransomware activity drop off. We're watching a lot of espionage drop off. And the reason for it is they're nervous. What's more, the U.S. today sanctioned a Russian virtual currency exchange called Garantex, which the government said facilitated over $100 million in transactions associated with illicit actors. But although this is a big win for law enforcement, experts caution that these marketplaces are dynamic. And when one goes down, another one can quickly fill the void, Chef. All right, man. Thanks very much.